You know what you doing, Miss Rooster? Yeah, she likes that cool concrete. Keep her cool on a hot day. Yeah. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. Whoo! I gotta do this twice. Because I just filmed the whole video and realized I never turned the microphones on. So now I got the whole other GoPro. It doesn't even have the external microphone, so we don't have to think about it. You're about an hour and ten minutes early. It ain't supper yet. She don't care. She's over here in the shade. And there you are. You sure are pretty. Yeah, you're very bigly. Bigly, bigly. Well, been having trouble with my tomatoes. They have been getting hammered and hammered and hammered by the storms. Got a lot of these dead leaves on here. I need to cut that sucker off there. But I sprayed them with some Epsom salt on the leaves because we've been getting this yellowing on the bottom ones. It seems to be helping. It's not spread anymore. Uh, but I think a lot of it, man, they're just so loaded with tomatoes. I got to pick some of these uh, ones that are just starting to ripen and let them ripen in the house. Give them a break. They're struggling. But not the spaghetti squash. Look at this dude. It's already spilled off onto the ground. We got a little spaghetti squash there. Let's see. We got one there. Yeah, watermelon. That ain't never going to do nothing. But look at the size. Oh, of this okra. Well, there you are, Melly. That's huge. Haven't got any okra yet, but it's close. Here's Melly Moo. And I'm loaded down with, uh, what are these? Habanero peppers. Oh, man, look how many of them dudes are on there. I'm going to let them turn color. Yeah. Bell peppers. Everything's doing pretty good. Where are you going? You going to your spot? All right. Well, I'm kind of stranded here at home. The truck, it's drivable, but I'm trying not to drive it as much as I can. I'm going to take you under there, show you what's wrong with the truck. Uh, it's just something I should have replaced when I had all the work done on it last year, but I didn't. And so I got to wait on parts. They should, they're not going to be here till Friday, next Friday. So I'm not going too many places until then. Let's go take a look and see what I got going on with that. Welcome to underneath my truck. You know how you know that? Well, because we're underneath my truck. So I've been getting that noise right back here. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out what it was. I just couldn't. I spent 300 bucks getting brand new shocks put on the back which it needed they were leaking oil and everything else and nope that wasn't it and then just two days ago i got underneath here and got to looking and i found out my body mounts are toast yep so i went into o'reilly's they want 80 bucks a piece for them i knew that was crazy so i said no so i got online and i'd already watched videos to see if this was a you know a normal problem for the ford trucks and yep the original ones they put on here are junk so the best ones to put on are silicone and but they were like 300 dollars. i just don't have 300 dollars, so i got the whole set for 100 bucks they're this they're polyurethane hey they'll last me a couple more years i've put several of these on chevys and fords uh, the hardest what you got to do is you got to get a torch and you got to heat this dude up because up here there is a cage nut and what a cage nut is it, it's on, it sits on a square piece of metal and it has two ears that stick up and that keeps that nut from spinning around when you get these out you do not use an impact on these you have to heat them up and melt the uh, thread lock that is on the on the bolt once you do that you take the bottom piece off and there's four of them there's one there there's another one up a little further and then there's one in front of the radiator so there's eight total 
if you can see that one there you can see it is also wasted and I'll show you in a minute here how you can easily tell without even having to get under the truck but once you get these all these bottom bolts out and this off you take a jack and you take a board and you jack the frame of your, the cab of your body off the frame for about two or three inches not very far just enough to get the top one out there's a top one up here as well this also has to be pried out then you just insert the, the new one on all four of these and you lower it back down and you put them put all the bolts and stuff back in it's just a little time consuming there's really nothing hard about it uh this truck sets high enough i can get under here and work on it with no problem i mean we're sitting almost two feet two and a half feet three off the ground here so there's plenty of room so i gotta wait till friday till the parts come in and i had to order a jack i mean this truck is breaking me this month my god but everything else is good i'd rather it be something like that than something to do you know other than something to do with a drive shaft or anything like that everything else is good under here i mean i had new catalytic converters put on it it's just though i had a new transmission pan everything everything was done last year and yeah there you can see the new cats up there what am i pointing that for so that's what those were uh 1300 for those yep the guy that stole this thing and cut them off and it took quite a bit of money to get this truck back up and going all the brakes are new i mean it, it's not going to need anything for a while but uh that's something you don't think about and uh, let me show you how you know that those are bad all right if you look right here see this crease in the body and this one these should line up this one's like an inch lower in the body line there also you can see up here ah and it's just been gradually getting worse and worse and worse until it just drives you nuts but at least i know what it is yeah you can see that's way off so we're gonna get that fixed friday the only thing that sucks is it's gonna be hot but i gotta get it done and i took the puppy kennel down today don't know what i'm gonna do with it i sure ain't giving it away that costs money and i raked that out a little bit we'll let the floodwaters take care of all that it will all right and i didn't film it i got in here and i cleaned this shed and i mean i organized the heck out of it doesn't that look nice everything is well organized i know i can almost walk in here well no i can't and i didn't get in here oh, it just i just you know i find it's easier if i just keep the door shut and i don't look at it out of sight out of mind <sighs> all right well that's about all i wanted to say guys just doing an update uh, let me think there was something else but i can't remember i gotta get in here and pick some meters right, let's go in the house let's go in the house are you guys hot i am Whoo! Whoo! <whistles> dee 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 don't read my code oh i spent some time and clean today I did. Swept the floor. Got me a new broom. Whew. It is nice and cool in here. Yeah. Gotta start shopping for a window. We gotta do a window before we do anything. Then we gotta do a floor before we do anything. But right now, I'm worried about getting the truck fixed. And I'll do that. Get it all fixed next weekend. And I'll be back on the road. Talk to you guys later. Happy trails. Find that hidden rooster. There she is in her biscuit. <laughs>